Welcome to a new but short episode of Ausfahrt TV in English. I'm in Portugal today. I'm here to drive the all new Mercedes AMG C63 as well as its light version, the Mercedes Benz C450 AMG. I've driven this baby already from the hotel to the racetrack here in Portimao and um, I had some fun while Audi delivers the S models for quite a while now and BMW has its M performance models. Mercedes was a little bit late but here we are the Mercedes-Benz AMG Sport model. That's the C450 AMG. Under the hood we have a V6 with 3 liters and 367 horsepower. That's good for maximum torque of 520 newton meters. And you have this maximum torque in a range of 2000 and 4200 RPM. Just some basic facts. The top speed is limited to 250 kilometers per hour and the acceleration from 0 to 62 miles per hour slash 100 kilometers per hour is reached for the e-state version in 5 seconds while the sedan just takes 4.9 seconds. But it's remarkable at least because the C63 AMG takes at least 4 seconds to accelerate. So this baby is not slow at all. Okay, look close. Overall, it looks like a regular C-Class. We have a little bit bigger air intakes to give the car or the front bumper a little bit more aggressive look, but that's about it. By a factory setting, we have this diamond grill with a single blade um, inside here. And that's already it. Are you missing the AMG badge? Well, the AMG sports model don't come with a badge in the grill. From the side view, at least if you know the E-State version at all, it looks like a C-Class E-State version. Um, except that we find an AMG badge on the side, so it's not in the front grille, but on the side. By factory setting, the C450 comes with 18-inch alloy wheels. We have here on our test car the optional 19-inch alloy wheels and behind the wheels you have better performing braking system. The view from the back isn't much different either. We have a different spoiler on the roof. Of course we have the C450 badge and the formatic badge on the other side. And of course we have the sport exit system with uh, two double pipes and in between there's a black diffuser. My time here in Portugal is very limited and I want to make a complete in-depth review about the C63 AMG. So that's why I'm just hopping in and give you a first impression about the interior. Everything else, please watch the C63 AMG clip. All right. Well, I just told you that I don't think that the outside of the C450 looks very sportive. The interior is the complete opposite. Boy, I love the seats. Those seats really, they're awesome. This AMG Sport seats, they're comfortable on one hand and give you a perfect side support. On the other hand, you can uh, put them in any position all electrically and you can even uh, have, you have two switches to adapt or to, to change the side support, the intensity of the side support. So it's really easy to find your perfect sitting position. You can change the position of the steering wheel electrically and I would love to have it a little bit more out, but I think it's okay. The steering wheel itself is coated with leather and perforated leather on the sides where you put your hands, which I like because if you get sweaty hands while driving, this is nicer, you, ha you get a better grip. Uh, it's a sporty steering wheel uh, altogether. It has red stitching and those red stitching you find all over the car. And um, all the materials, the leather everywhere 
and even this carbon fiber whatever it's supposed to be and the brushed alloy when i jump in the car i feel like oh well, damn that's a nice car it's premium appeal I, I like it and it gives me sporty feeling too at least if not anything else with the red stitching and i'm a big fan of red seat belts by the way just to let you see they're long enough too so um everything else you know from the regular c-class you got all the assist systems you got the big command online display and i know most of you don't like it i think it's kind of cool i don't mind i really don't and you have the touchpad right here with the jog shuttle as well so you have different options how to navigate and you have two usb plugs in here so everything is cool and settled overall it is the c-class of course but this interior at least for my taste it really kicks ass and gives you a really good sporty feeling inside my driving experience with the mercedes-benz c450 amg i just put this car in sport plus mode and now i'm accelerating oh yes Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah, it feels like a sport car right now. The sport exit system is really giving me shivers. It's fun. It's fun to drive sporty. Once you put this car in Sport Plus, you feel that the suspension is getting really stiff. Not, not sporty stiff like a sports car, but stiff enough to drive really sporty. The exit system really kicks in and gives you goosebumps. And the steering gets more direct and the throttle just reacts to your foot right away. So in Sport Plus, this baby, this AMG light baby here is really fun, fun, fun to drive. While on the other hand, now I've put the car into comfort and it's just a perfect cruiser. I can feel that I can drive on forever, four hours, just driving, 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 because in comfort, the suspension is not having a rest of comfort. It is really comfortable. It feels good. The sport exit system just shuts up and gives me the noise of a regular C-Class. So um, I'm not tempted to go any faster i can drive this car just you know on a cruise on a long distance drive without stressing myself to go any sporty or to get tired by putting too much attention on my sporty ride and i like really this mix of comfort just a good cruiser sport plus a little little beast that's really fun to drive and one thing I really want to point out, those sports seats, those AMG sports seats really did a good job for me. They're so comfortable on one hand and on the other hand they give you such a good side support. I was just cornering through the hills here in Portugal and boy, they, you know, I was just sitting in the car like I was melted in the car. And that's what I want from seats, being comfortable on one hand and giving me a really good side support on the other hand. So the seats really symbolize the whole car. Comfortable on one hand and damn sporty on the other hand. I really like it. Just to mention it, I'm not going through all the assist systems. They are here. Everything you get for, for the C-Class, you get for the C450, of course. I'm not going through the navigation system, the GPS, the command online, because it works just like in every other C-Class. And I'm not saying anything about the Boommaster sound system, except I really like it a lot. It has a great sound, and that's an option I would definitely take. I told you just a short review and I'm done. As you might have figured, I really like this baby and I'm wondering how much. What's on the price tag? Mercedes-Benz didn't tell us yet, but they should say they should do it pretty soon because starting in April, you should be able to get this car, at least in Germany. 
I think they will be pretty successful with this car and I'm looking forward to hear your opinion in the comments and if you like my clip just give me a thumb up please um, and if you haven't done so and you like the way we look at cars just subscribe because we produce English clips every once in a while. So hope to see you soon again. Bye Jan.